What if just about everything you've been told about your own mind is wrong? From day one, we learn that our consciousness, the very essence of you, lives inside the three pounds of wetware between our ears. That every thought, every feeling, every memory is just the result of neurons firing. But what if that's not the whole story? What if your brain doesn't create your consciousness at all, but is actually more of a receiver? This isn't just a late night philosophical question. It's a journey to the very edge of our understanding, where baffling medical cases and the weirdness of quantum physics collide. Today, we're exploring some mind-bending evidence and speculative theories that challenge the idea that your brain is the source of consciousness. What you're about to hear might just change how you think about who or what you really are. Section 1. The Official Story and Its Cracks For centuries, the dominant scientific view, and the one that still holds today, is that consciousness is born from the brain's staggering complexity. The mainstream model suggests our subjective awareness emerges from a network of nearly 100 billion neurons firing together. It's a tidy, materialist explanation. The brain is the machine, and consciousness is what it feels like when it's running. So if you damage the hardware, you should damage the software in a predictable way. And a lot of evidence backs this up. We know brain injuries can radically alter personality. We can stimulate parts of the brain to trigger vivid memories. And tragic diseases like Alzheimer's seem to erase the self as they degrade the brain. It all points to a pretty clear conclusion. No brain, no consciousness. But that neat story is showing some cracks. It's being challenged by anomalies from two very different worlds. The ghostly realm of quantum physics and the shocking realities found in certain medical case files. While mainstream science is still firmly rooted in the brain as creator model, these paradoxes are so strange they force us to ask a radical question. Is the brain really the creator? Or could it be something more like a conduit? 